Walmart just announced they will be closing more stores in this state. Sorry for the shaky camera. That's the dog hitting the table. And Walmart is planning to close down several stores across the country, and two of them are located right. And Walmart faces a $100 million lawsuit from a man with a handwritten note claiming he was discriminated against and falsely profiled as a shoplifter. The Texas man has sued Walmart for $100 million. Uh, plus, Walmart is making a major change, affecting millions of customers, after a man steals cash drawer from local Florida Walmart store, but then gets caught, busted, after posting the photo to social media online while wearing the same shirt. Theft is an issue. It's higher than what it's historically been. I think local law enforcement being staffed, if that's not corrected over time, prices will be higher right. and or stores will close. Expect more jobs to be cut and Walmart spark drivers to be deactivated and fired with no notice after Walmart ups the ante and unleashes drone delivery services to nearly 2 million more homes in this state. Hey, if you forgot maybe the eggs at the store or you need a quick treat from the cookie aisle, you may be able to get it dropped at your house by one of these guys exactly the way you see this going on right here. What about that? Customers use the Wing Delivery app. To and it all starts right now. Plus, if you want to know how to get your free $50 to spend at Walmart right now, then just watch this video and make sure you smash that like button and subscribe. But first, Walmart has announced they are closing more stores and these will be in California and specifically in the good old San Diego area. Breaking news reports revealed two Walmart stores in San Diego County will be closing next month and the nation's largest retailer announced earlier this week on Wednesday that it will not, will not be renewing its leases at locations in San Diego's Logan Heights neighborhood and El Cajon. The stores at 2121 Imperial Avenue and 605 Fletcher Parkway will be closed for good and will not reopen on February 9th as originally thought. Those stores and the employees who worked at these locations will be gone forever and the company said the stores haven't performed as well as hoped and that it was unable to reach mutual lease renewals with the property managers and you all were right um, renting is a terrible idea just throwing money away and pissing in the wind basically flushing money down the toilet and you'll have nothing to show for it and in the statement released by Walmart communications director Brian Little he said we are grateful to the customers who have given us the privilege of serving them at our San Diego and El Cajon stores we look forward to continuing to serve them at many of our other locations across the area on walmart.com and through delivery to their home or business. These deliveries will likely be pushed to drone-only deliveries, though. With recent problems, the company has faced from lawsuits related to in-store discrimination, as well as a class action lawsuit and a litany of complaints from Walmart's Spark gig workers, which will likely be shut down soon or at the very least heavily taxed by the Biden administration with the recent uh, push to stick it to the contract gig and 1099 workers for more tax revenue, not to mention crime and theft. So just minutes ago, a man accused of stealing a cash register from a Walmart in Florida was caught after some social media sleuthing when he posted photos in the same outfit he wore during the theft. Idiot, right? The latest out of a Florida sheriff's office said on December 10th, a man was inside a Walmart in Palm Coast when he snatched the entire cash drawer from a register. And the Flagler County Sheriff's Office posted on Facebook a uh, post about how the man brazenly ran from the store, shoving an employee who confronted him on the way out the door to his getaway car. And I tried to tell you guys, you would not catch me risking my life for Walmart or any company for that matter. It's just a job and they do not care about you. Please understand that. But surveillance footage captured an image of the man holding the cash drawer and wearing a bright red shirt with Key West on the front. And witnesses to the theft said he got into a gray Hyundai, I think it's Hyundai, SUV rental car. Meanwhile, investigators posted their surveillance photo to social media, asking the public to help identify the accused thief. And sure enough, thanks to the advancements of technology and good old AI, the facial recognition, uh, after they ran the footage through facial recognition software, the sheriff's office easily identified the suspect as a 43 year old man with an extensive criminal record. After identifying the man, investigators tracked him to North Carolina before he returned to Central Florida, deputies said, but they were unable to pinpoint his exact location to make an arrest. But then he helped them out. 
because on his social media profile, he posted a photo in which he's wearing the same red t-shirt and pants that he was wearing at the time of the alleged burglary. And investigators were able to track him to the Orlando area, and he was later taken into custody by Ocoee deputies. They said that when he was found at a plaza off Florida's Turnpike, investigators found the shirt and chain he was wearing in the photos inside his vehicle. And according to the sheriff's office, this was along with methamphetamines, a ski mask, and a realistic looking airsoft pellet gun. Now he is charged with an unarmed burglary of an occupied structure and grand theft from a building between $750 and $5,000. But I keep telling y'all, you cannot make this stuff up and pretty soon computers and AI will be the crime fighters and you won't be able to make a move without being tracked digitally. And once they move to the digital dollar or the e-dollar or CBDC, then it is a wrap. Plus, we had discussed before the story about the Texas man who was suing Walmart over claims of false pretense of shoplifting, and he too was trying to steal him a bag, but going about it through a much more sophisticated and legal channel, despite his original complaints were handwritten. Uh, but besides that, that's not the point. He still wants his $100 million in cash or unlimited lifetime free shopping. I don't, I'm pretty sure $100 million in cash is going to be way, way more beneficial in the long run. But either way, I wouldn't hold my breath. And that doesn't mean, though, that you can't get some of the money Walmart is giving away. Because right now, new members who sign up, they will get a $50 Walmart cash uh, card to spend whenever and however they please. Plus, if you're not familiar with Walmart Plus, it's an annual membership for Walmart shoppers that provides members with special perks and discounts, such as free delivery and gas discounts. Some people could really use that benefit. Whether you like Walmart or not, that is a perk for the people who need it. If you're a frequent Walmart shopper, it's well worth the $13 per month or $98 yearly, $98 yearly membership price. Walmart Plus perks that you should know about do include you save 10 cents per gallon on gas at 14,000 different locations nationwide. And I did not know this when I wrote this. You can stream over 40,000 shows with a Paramount Plus subscription that's included with your Walmart Plus subscription. Paramount Plus on its own, I think, is anywhere from $7.99 to $9.99. You get 5% cash, uh, Walmart cash on flights, hotels, and more when you travel as a Walmart Plus member. That's new. I was not aware of that before. You get free delivery from your local store and free shipping with no minimum order. So if you just wanted to order a pack of chewy chocolate chip cookies, because those are the best kind, you could have them delivered with no, uh, no shipping costs, which again, kind of cool, which could come in handy now that Walmart is expanding its drone delivery program to 1.8 million households. And if you live in Texas, then you are in luck. You are getting it first. Let's see. And the retailer says its drone deliveries now cover 75% of the population in the Dallas-Fort Worth metro area, all thanks to partnerships with drone startups Wing and Zipline. Walmart originally launched its drone delivery program with Zipline and Drone Up in Arkansas, home of Walmart to begin with, in 2021 before expanding it to more than more states in 2022. And now the newly expanded service in Texas allows customers living within 10 miles of a participating Walmart to get items delivered delivered to their homes via drone. And so far, Walmart has completed over, surprisingly, 20,000 successful drone deliveries. Wing says it will start delivering to new locations in the Dallas-Fort Worth area in the coming months and expects to complete the expansion with Walmart within the year. You can check if your address can receive drone deliveries from Walmart on the Wing or Zipline websites if you are in that area and are interested. Now, there are a lot of other changes taking effect and happening right now at Walmart stores as Walmart has been making uh, its own effort to keep prices down for consumers. And they know how customers, generally speaking, are really price sensitive right now, as they should be, because inflation has been a biatch. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Please give the video a like, subscribe to the channel if you would like to. No harm, no foul. If not, love you guys, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye. Squirrel trap.